is an electric field. In a nutshell, an electric field is a region of space where an object carrying an electric charge experiences a force of electric origin. Let's look at this definition in order to understand all of its facets. In electric field, there is a word field. So let's focus on this word first. What is a field? A field is a region of space for which each point is associated with a quantity. For example, behind me is represented a flat surface. And to each point of this surface is assigned a number. The property associated with that quantity defines the nature of the field. To understand what this means, let's look at this map. Every point is assigned with a number. This number represents the temperature of the point. So this map is a representation of a temperature field. You can try this with other type of quantities. Just check any map that provides some specific data, like for example, humidity, population density, or population average income, whatever. These are all fields. We could even imagine a field where the quantity is just either one or zero. For example, an electron field. Yes, imagine a region of space that we represent here with a surface for which every point is assigned either a one or a zero. If we have a one, it means that there is an electron present at this point. If we have a zero, that means there is no electron at this point. If you look at the evolution of the field with time, you can witness the path of the electron. We can also imagine that instead of a number, the quantity associated with each point is a vector, which is a value with a direction. There is a field of this type you can see every day on your TV. This one. Here, the magnitude of the arrow represents the speed of the wind, and the direction of the arrow, the direction of the wind. That field is a vector field. We could even go further and assign to each point of a region of space a function, an operator, or even a state. But looking into this would make us dive deep into quantum field theory, which goes beyond the scope of this course. So, let's go back to our electric fields. The quantity associated with each point of an electric field is the electric field strength. As its name suggests, this quantity represents the strength of the effect of the field which is the force that would experience an object carrying a charge of one coulomb. Let me pull out the board to illustrate this. Imagine this board is an empty space, an empty space devoid of any electrical influence. Imagine now that I place a charged little cube somewhere in that space, a positive charge. Oh yeah, when I say that I'm placing a charge at a given point, what I really mean is that I'm placing an object which is carrying that charge at that point. Remember, charge is a property. But in this course, I'll be placing lots of charge a bit everywhere. So I'm not going to say each time I place an object which is carrying this charge. I'll just say I'm placing a charge. But do remember that the charge is a property, not a thing. Yeah. OK, so what happens to this charged little cube? Well, nothing. Okay, so let's place another charge in that space. Charge big Q, positive two. And let's pin it, let's fix it at that point. Little Q will experience a repulsion force. Yeah, positive and positive repel. So there'll be a force on little Q. In the perspective of little q, what just happened? It was just there, not doing much, right? And suddenly, boom, it feels accelerated. There's a force applied on it. In its perspective, something changed fundamentally in the nature of space itself. 
something new happened. Now, the point where it was located has a new property. That is, that if I place a charge there, this charge feels a force. This new property provided to space was provided by charge big Q that actually modified the regional space around it. It gave it a new property, which is, if I place a charge there, or somewhere in that space, this charge would feel a force. Charge big Q just created an electric field. An electric field is a regional space where a charge experiences a force. So if I placed a charge here, for example, a negative one, it would feel a force. A positive one here would feel a force. Because it is in the electric field created by charge big Q. OK, so what would be the value of this force? Let's go back to our charge little q here. F would, of course, depend on the charge I place there. If I place a big charge, well, the force on it will be bigger. The repulsion from big Q will be bigger. So F is proportional to the charge I place at the point, but also proportional to the strength of the field at that point, i.e. the magnitude of the property that the point has because it is in an electric field. This value is called the electric field strength, the strength of the field. The electric field strength is a vector because you see it's proportional to a force. So force is a vector, it has a direction. So does an electric field strength. We can also define the electric field strength at how much force one coulomb of positive charge would experience when placed at that point. The electric field strength will be a property of the point, right? Okay, I will discuss more about the electric field strength in the next video. For now, just remember what an electric field is. An electric field is a region of space where a charge placed in that space will experience a force.